Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of Bullshit here on the GTM Show channel. Today's item is going to be another product from uh, Marishan's Taste of Asia line. We've done one of those already in the past. I forget what the flavor is, but we'll throw a card up. You can check that out. Today we're going to be checking out the Tonkotsu Ramen Bowl. And there you go. There's the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. Right now mine is still in the um, exterior plastic wrap there. You can kind of see a little bit there, a little bit of plastic wrap going on. I like to see that. It lets me know that you know they haven't been tampered with before I've bought them. All right, I removed the uh, plastic wrap so you can get a better look with uh, a little bit less glare maybe. And there you go on the front there. We got the, uh, the old ramen soup spoon, the miso soup spoon going on there. Looks like we got corn, what looks to be maybe, uh, what is that, tomatoes, peppers maybe, uh, some scallions, and it looks like a, a flat ramen noodle, like a Japanese-style noodle there, instead of round noodle. All right. On the side of the container over here, you're going to have your nutrition fact chart, your list of ingredients. Go ahead and pause the screen and read that if you can. On the opposite side, you're going to have cooking instructions that include microwave instructions where you have to fill it to a fill line and then microwave it for probably like four minutes or something like that. And then we also have the uh, pour over the noodles with the boiling water and then uh, like seal it kind of thing. All right, they're telling us three minutes for the microwave right on the front of it. Uh, there is a little description down here of the uh, tonkotsu type ramen stew soup going on, the broth. Uh, letting us know that it's made by stewing pork bones for long periods under high heat. And that's pretty much uh, from what I've found from research of this type of product that that's pretty common. Today we're going in the microwave. Don't have a whole lot of time to deal with, which I think a lot of people don't. So, you know, a lot of people, they always write in to me and tell me, oh, you got to add this and you got to add that. But a lot of people are taking stuff like this to work. Uh, you know, you got maybe a half hour. You can't be going in there and whipping up gourmet meals in the break room. All right, so our microwave instructions have us removing the lid, of course, uh, and removing the two packets. Open up packet number one, toss it in there with the noodles, uh, fill up with the water to the fill line, like we said, and microwave for three minutes. Afterwards, you pour in packet number two, and boom, you're done. All right, so let's crack this open and take a look. I'm sure we got, like, what, a dried goods packet and then maybe, like, a broth packet of, like, a powder. And yeah, as suspected, there's your dry goods, and then over here, the purple packet is the uh, powder. And inside, there's your noodles going on, and yeah, it's the flat noodle, not the round noodle. And if I tilt it like this, and you look over here, you can slightly see that fill line that they were talking about. We're going to put the water to there. All right, so I'm going to go do all that, and then we're going to come back and check out our Marishan Taste of Asia Tonkotsu Ramen. Stick around. All right, guys, we are back. We've got our Marishan Taste of Asia hearty pork-flavored ramen out of the microwave. Uh... It's been sitting here standing maybe for like a minute or so. I've got to the point where I've just dumped in packet number two, and I'm about to stir it all up. Still steamy. There you go. Take a peek at that. That's what you get right out of the microwave after three minutes. Uh, to be honest with you, I didn't fill it all the way up to the fill line. I might have filled it up to maybe a quarter inch under. I don't like it real soupy. All right. I give it a stir. Everything's all mixed up now. The broth, the noodles, the corn, the red peppers, the what look like scallions, I believe. All right, good to go. All right, down the hatch. All right, that's pretty tasty. It does have like a, a nice rich pork flavor going on there. Very similar, if not identical, to the pork flavor that you get with the Marishan uh, bricks of ramen. Only here they've thrown in a couple more ingredients like the red pepper and the corn, which is a nice touch, even though I never really came across any of the corn. I think it's fallen straight to the bottom. Although we did get some of this right here, the uh, what seems to be uh, red pepper, some sort of a red pepper, non-spicy red pepper. Um, it still has like a nice little peppery flavor, like the uh, the gardeny flavor of the pepper. Perfectly cooked Japanese style flat noodles like that. I'm a bigger fan of those than the round noodle myself. So what we have here is a glorified version of the pork flavor that they already sell on the shelf in the brick pallet form that you can get. But this they've given to you at an on-the-go type form here, which is also a plus. Now the brick form that I keep referencing of their pork flavor that one is already my second favorite as far as their ramen is concerned right off the shelf like that. Chicken being my number one in the orange package. Honestly, how it goes down is it's chicken, then the pork, uh, then oriental, then beef. And I don't even mess with the seafood ones. I'm sure they're good. It's just not my thing. Now, one con I have found with these, um, and it might not be a con to some of you, but the slow eaters, it might be. These go soggy after maybe like two, three minutes of uh, being off the burner. So this is one that you have to slurp down kind of fast right out of the microwave, something like that. But at the end of the day, yeah, pretty tasty product. I like it a lot. I definitely buy it again. So for the Taste of Asia Tonkotsu Ramen, I'm going to give this a solid four out of five. 
So there you have it, a second installment of the Taste of Asia line from Marishan. Check back with us because we have uh, one more to go through, probably the next episode of Bullshit. But this one, the pork flavor, definitely give this one a try. I'm Mr. Dirty. This is Bullshit here on the GTM Show channel. Don't forget, also, these shirts. There's a do brown bag shirt that I'm wearing here. You can get shirts just like this one and more. Uh, by checking out spreezy.com forward slash rebellious and bold 333. And I'll put the uh, that up on the screen so you can check that out. And also check them out on Instagram at the same thing, rebellious and bold 333. You can also check me out on Instagram and Twitter at the real Mr. Dirty. Until next time, get out of here and have a rotten day. <laughs>